Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a new wear routine. As you guys can see by the title of this video, there is snippets of different days just because as a new mom, there really is no time to be filming. But this is basically our routine, so if you're interested, please keep on watching. Once he eats at 8 or 9, he's usually either chilling with his dad or he falls asleep. So that's when I wash the bottles. So I usually do this so that I don't have to wash any more bottles until basically 9 p.m. For a bottle steamer, we have to put 75 millimeters of water, which is basically filling up this gray thing right there. It's orange because it's kind of burning if you leave it on for too long. I just use distilled water and purified water, I mean, and we place this back in there and then we just start placing the bottles back in. See so if it doesn't fit, then I'll put it down here because the steam sterilizes from down up, so I just put it down. Especially these, they take up so much space. So then anyway, we put this and just click it on. And I believe it sterilizes in about eight minutes. Officially starting our day. Open the blinds up. So here we have the diaper slash feeding station. I have the bottles sterilized, all prepped, filled with 80 milliliters of purified water for him. It is so much simpler that way than just doing it on the spot. The formula is over there. That's the one we use. It's gentle ease for gassy sensitive babies. I think something is very sensitive. So that's the formula that we've been giving him and it's been pretty helpful. Here we have this basket. I call it the diaper basket. We have the shower utensils, products, creams, shampoo. I have my medications that I was taking when I was first at the hospital. And here we have the Vaseline that we used to apply on him. It's pretty empty now. And diaper balm. I showed you guys this already. We have the white warmer over here. And then I just place the diapers over there. This is my setup for the day too. I leave this here so that whenever he wants to pee, I mean whenever he needs a change, it's just there. And ready. Just out here making pancakes. I made some orange juice. This is the bath setup. We use a little duck because he likes to be submerged in very warm water. We put a pet here and on the floor. And then we have this wash and shampoo. We used to use the dry skin creamy wash when his skin was peeling off but now we're using this one and then we have a peri bottle to spray his little head and then we have a towel here and two washcloths he's out here floating <laughs> okay, so I use this one to dry him up, and then I lay him on this warm little blue elephant robe that he has, so he can be super warm. I'll make sure all his private parts are dry, and his little feet, so they don't smell bad. Then I apply some diaper balm. It smells really good and it's natural. Make sure he doesn't get a rash in case I like for some reason they didn't dry him right. So this is the balm. Almost out because it's so good. Anyway, I apply that before putting his diaper on. I lower his butt. He really likes it too. Whatever I do. 
put his socks on after his diaper, then I put on the Vino Daily Moisture if he lets me. This is the ointment I use for his acne. Definitely recommend it. This is a little outfit for today. And we're gonna wrap him in a blanket. Say hi. While he naps, I'm gonna put this in the laundry. I'm gonna show you guys how I put on the boppy. And you wrap it around your waist. You grab one side. This is what I'm doing back here. Grab it like that. Grab both sides, actually. And the tie looks from the back, a crisscross. And you're gonna tuck it in. Across. You want to make it as tight as possible just so you can really have a good grasp on the baby. I need to hurry up because something's getting a little impatient with me. So I'm going to wrap this around. Make a knot here on the side. And I'm going to go get him so you guys can see how I place him in there. Place him on my shoulder. Tuck in his feet. Under both. He's sliding down <laughs> a bit like that. Then to secure his booty, secure his other leg, going a little sideways. Make sure his little hands are comfortable. And then usually I tuck his feet in to this bottom piece of the wrap hood here. There you go. And then this piece secures the entire thing. Go like that. And then always make sure the head is in a comfortable position or it's not going, you know, forward. Okay, so I had to go put the laundry in the washer, so I have them in here. And what I do is Excuse me. I put the bottle like that in a position where it's like if I was holding it. And I just make sure that it's adjusted well to where it's horizontal for the most part. And these bottles are safe, you guys, because. The milk will come out unless he sucks it out, so it's not like he's I'm forcing him to chug it or anything. He's doing laundry, so that's why they just stack there. He already bragged while being in here. That's one of the cool things too about Bobby. Sometimes he enjoys his boppy and the cues to put a warm blanket so that they feel like someone's hugging them and it's warm. And then put another blanket on top of them. That's why he's so relaxed right now. Plus he ate. Cues fine and as soon as we start eating. <laughs> Okay, you guys, that was it for this video. We hope you guys enjoyed being in our routine and seeing how we do it. Hopefully, you guys got something out of it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.